Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, feed your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. And we are back at the Curve U.S. Open of Curling in the, uh, the Four Seasons Curling Club in Blaine, Minnesota. For this straw, we're going to be covering the uh, Dropkin versus Sobering game. Uh, team Corey Dropkins playing out of Duluth, Minnesota. Third, Andrew Stopera. Second, Mark Fenner. And lead, Thomas Howell. And for Team Sobering, playing out of Denver, Colorado, we have Daryl Sobering, Nick Myers, DJ Johnson, Josh Chetwind, and Alec Stalecki. Currently, uh, Team Dropkins at 3-0, so we're looking to finish up the round robin with a fourth win and a clean sweep. And Sobering is currently sitting at 1-1. My name is Ryan Parent. I'll be providing solo commentary for this draw. Possibly we'll have Mark No uh, join us again in the last few ends. Let's see what's going on at uh, this first end. Nice draw here. It gets the uh, button corner frozen. Looks like they might have a angle short tap raise kind of shot on that top four yellow one. And I believe drop team dropkin is playing with yellow and has hammer at the first end. Looks like he's going to be throwing about a back line, maybe halfway shot here. Nice shot. Sits two. Third one, ready to be used. Looks like Daryl Sobering's gonna call it another corner freeze. Might have the same shot though, if they do that. see too many other options though. Maybe they could freeze into the pocket on that red yellow at the back door. It'd be a little more secure. But it... hmm.
Oh, my mistake. It looks like uh, Zobring actually has hammers the final stone. So we'll just try to draw up to that, maybe move it a bit. It'd be pretty difficult to get shot, though. Squeeze it by the center. Rex on the top four rock, but doesn't tap it too far, so it's only a steal of two. Two nothing for Dropkin after one. Second in now, and uh, team drop in. Looks like they're and this one into the house, top four. Shot. And corner guard up for sobering. Kropkin hops to put a second stone in the house. So now comes the option to hit or draw. I expect this early in the game to play a hit, yeah. Nose hit, stay relatively frozen on the yellow one. Bit wide, doesn't remove any yellows. Actually, punches that top yellow a little bit behind the uh, corner guard. And yeah, Corey will decide to just guard the center line. Which I like. 
You might want to put it a little, a little closer to the left side so that uh, you don't have that double available. Kind of close off that hole between the center and the corner guard. Comes into the 12 foot. Not quite as much curl as they were hoping. What's the call here? Hit and roll off the side yellow to the center line. Hack weight, I think. This one. And they get a buy. No roll though. Sleeves. Shot for drop can also hit. And they roll across the house to the side of the rings. Yeah, I think uh, Team Sobering will try to make this hit roll off the top 12 one. It's probably best. Maybe. Yeah, pretty hard to catch either of the yellows at the same time. Might be able to get the shooter of the last shot as well, but the main thing is to make the roll. Nice shot, gets it just over half buried. Just misses the back double. Team drop and I'll try to make a play on that right in the house. Go back over to the other side of the house. Well-managed stone. Is it going to spin off? Just sticks around in the back of the rings. So Daryl Sobering call, calls to hit the center line one and roll in front of the yellows. I like this call a lot. I think if you roll behind the red one, it'll probably be able to just take it out still, but... Even if they can't, they can. You'll be behind the team line and the play threes. So you can roll here and then possibly play the draw on your next shot around the corner. Doesn't quite get the roll they're looking for though.
Takes a nice nose hit. Team Silverman will try to hit and roll. Just flop a rock or two to the right, make it a little bit harder to take out. It's curling a lot. Just rolls to the center line. Drop can nose, or maybe you just roll a little bit to the left. Yeah, I think they want to roll to the left a couple of rocks because yeah, right there because if you nose it then Sobring will have the hit and roll under and it's probably lined up pretty good to get the double as well. So you roll a little bit to the left, they can't get both at the same time. And the hit and roll will be deeper in the house too. See what kind of weight they're picking. They're not taking a ton of ice. So. It's about a nine and a half second hit. pretty nicely. So now the hit and roll will jam. You might opt to just play the double instead. Or they can roll to the left themselves a little bit. Hope that Cory drop and jams one of those yellows. Next shot. Daryl's first rock coming down now. Looking close. Let's make a very nice roll. Still a piece open though. Corey will have a play on it. They could freeze as well if they desire to. I generally like, even though the freeze eh, difficulty is pretty similar on the shots, the good thing about hitting it out is you set three, you never know, and the other skip makes a mistake and gives up a big steal or picks or something like that. Assuming the other team makes their shot perfectly, you're probably better off uh, freezing here, but I like the hit a lot.
people and they just get by the corner guard and make the shot. Very nice. So yeah, we do have uh, Andrew Stopera throwing last rocks here. I believe Thomas Howell is throwing third. I'm reading in the chat that uh, Corey Dropkin was throwing lead, which would make uh, Mark Fenner the second still. Not sure if that's uh, their usual setup or if they're just switching things up and trying things out. Rock for Daryl Sobring coming down. Throwing against three. Makes a nice clean shot for his single. It's 2 1 for Dropkin with Hammer heading into three. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, feed your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. And we're back in the third end. Center guard to start us off. Get some questions in the chat asking about how they choose team names. Uh, so yeah, it's, usually it's just the Skip's last name, Spike Convention, but they usually do. There are more teams now picking uh, alternative names for their team. I think it's more common in curling to use a person's name, just because there's so many teams and teams are switching up constantly. It's not like a hockey team, for example, where they're going to have the same team, same name year over year and uh, with like the same, usually the same owner of the team and where the coaches and general managers stay more consistent, but with curling, it's a lot more switching around of players. I think it's part of the reason why you don't pick a team name rather than a, uh, rather than using the player's name. Also, you have so many more teams like Hockey teams, for example, use the city and some sort of mascot. Can't really do that with curling. <laughs> There's so many teams playing out of this same larger city sometimes. It doesn't really work that way, so. Yeah, I just kind of turned into convention to use the Skip's last name. And we're asking about the no tick rule. That is being implemented, I believe. Looks like that 
they did just move that center line rock. So I believe that that red room will be replaced and the yellow rock removed. No tick rule is in the first five stones, so during the free guard zone rule, in effect. If there is a rock, a center guard touching the center line, the other team cannot move it at all. Maybe there's a bit of discussion of if the rock was actually on the center line or not to start with. They are removing the rock though. Oh. Yeah. I guess that's a new thing skips kind of have to think about is uh, skips have to agree before a shot during the free guard zone if a rock is in the house or is not in the house so they know if they can hit it or not. Now they gotta also be aware of if a rock's touching the center line or not. And, Maybe you have to discuss that with the other skip before the shot, if it's close. I believe the no tick rule, you can actually, you can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong here, but I think you can touch a centerline rock as long as it doesn't leave the centerline. So in that situation, it was just off centerline and just barely touched it, pushed it off. In most cases, if you just barely touch it and it stays on the centerline, then, uh, then you're okay. Rock settles back 12. It's close for who shot. I think it might be yellow. Either way, Daryl Slowbring's just gonna put it top four. Nightshade asks in the chat, does the tick roll change the nature of the game for better? That is a good question. <laughs> um, my personal opinion, I think it might, but the only issue I have with the tick roll is it kind of takes it takes a big shot away from the lead. Leads are generally throwing guards and draws. Um, and their shots are certainly important, but tick shots are a more difficult shot that can completely change the outcome of a game. And taking that opportunity to play those shots away from the lead, I, I don't really love it. But I, I, d I definitely understand the reasons for the tick zone. If the lead is just so incredibly good at making ticks, it's, it makes it almost impossible to steal. Which maybe isn't the best thing, it's certainly in extra ends when the game is tied. So, there's a lot of opinions going around on whether or not they, people like the tick rule. I see positives and negatives to it.
looks like Team Robin's gonna try to hit and roll into the house off the center guard. throw there. Doesn't quite get into the house, but it's a, it's a nice corner guard. It's a splittable rock as well. Another center guard, I think. I like that call. Let's keep it a little bit higher so they can't roll in. Dropping jams on the back. It's okay though. Those yellows are nice to draw behind when we get the chance. Rock settles back four foot. Is it open enough to make a triple here? I think so. Maybe as close as he can to the nose. If you don't get it right on the nose, I think the back 12 one might stick around. It might be okay though, it could be jamming potential if that sticks around. Be nice to get rid of it though. You have so many rocks just outside the house that you could possibly split in later. And all three of the rocks just move. One gets out, two of them are hanging around the back. Yellowstone is open for the hidden roll. Punch it right through the reds. Q 
keeps saying Chelsea carry noted the no tick rule in its present state only helps the non hammer team. There's no similar no tick rule for corner guards. I kind of agree with that. Corner guard ticks aren't super common, but I, I think they'll start to be more and more common s sooner. I could I could see there be a mod being a modification so the uh, team with hammer their guards can't be ticked at all, no matter where they are. Could be a potential change in the future. This one's gonna curl up. And just avoids the jam. Doesn't get the roll though, so Corey will try to make that. Or I should say, uh, Andrew will be throwing his voice. Sweeping hard, it looks it's gonna hold it. Pretty nice shot. Might have peeked open on the other side of it. I don't know if Sorbrain is gonna try to hit it or not though. Or just draw in themselves. If you try to get the hit, you might, even if you get the hit and just roll out and don't jam it, it might be a split for two on that yellow guard closest to the center line. Or a blink chance, too. I think the split's probably easier and obviously better, so. Yeah, I, I'd be considering drawing around here. It's so easy to jam this too. Uh, maybe he is playing a draw just on the wide side. Yeah, okay, this this is good as well. Be on the centers here. Hopefully, they don't move anything in the house. Ooh, yikes. Did it get shot over the red, though? They might, if it's not shot, they might have a double split. <laughs> this would be a crazy shot. If they can. Okay, they're saying it is shot, so let's do a straight split on this one and try to get four. If it wasn't shot, though, they would be able to split and roll into the side of that top 12 yellow rock. And that top 12 could bounce off the back of the other corner and come back into the house and get a double split in. But it seems like that won't be necessary. You gotta be a little bit careful to not move that top 12 any further away if they roll into the side of it. 
and just move it like an inch or two sideways, it might not be shot anymore. Looking pretty good. And well executed. I believe that'll be four for yellow. Putting Team Dropkin up 6 1 after three. They might take a look at these and measure them. Yeah, kicks it off. Four yellow. We are back in the fourth end. After an end that looked like it was going to work out pretty well for Team Sobering, the last shot just got really unlucky and tapped the other team's stone in. And Team Dropkin had a split, which they managed well and made, giving them four points out of nowhere. Sobering's going to have to play aggressive here. Throw up two corners, most likely. My stream seemed to have dropped out. I'm gonna look at the uh oh there it comes back, okay. Let's go top eight. Frozen on their own rock. And Daryl Sobering will I think throw up uh, another corner guard to the same side. Not. They might. Looks like they're trying to draw around here. I'm, I'm not sure about this call. I think you gotta use your five rock uh, zone to 
much advantage as you can take when you're down by five. Like, Team Drop gonna try to chase this rock and hit it out. Sure. Probably on the wide intern side, yeah. Just roll out of the house. You gotta be absolutely perfectly buried and higher up if you're gonna make that call. I think it's just it's just way easier to throw a high guard. And you know they won't be able to hit it. They wreck on the corner, push it into the house. Interesting situation now. Uh, they, they, I think they might have to run that straight back right now. They wait, and Corey will be able to throw a guard up, and it's going to be hard to get at the yellows. So I think they yeah, run it back now. Right on the nose. in there looks like it's gonna be a pretty good shot curl another inch uh, I just bounces off it's not terrible but uh team Brockman's gonna have this double now double and roll I like what they do there uh Puts his broom down where he wants to hit the rock, so the whole team knows exactly where they want to hit it. It's convenient. The uh, hard line broom heads are almost exactly the same width as a uh, stone. Just, just misses the double. Gets the one out though. And currently sitting two. So Ryan's gonna play hit and roll. Okay. It's curling a lot on them. Ooh, Winnie. It's gonna wreck on the center guard. That's unfortunate. It does keep both of the stones in the rings though, so silver lining. And no easy doubles. Just, yeah, just hit one and one of the rocks and sit three. That's all you can really do. And he's opting to hit the right on the left side of the house thrower's perspective. He's thinking this keeps his rocks more separated, makes it harder for Sobering to make two doubles. They do have the one double lined up now. But after that, assuming all these shots are made, Corey Dropkin will hit and roll off of He rolled in a bit too much, so he might be triple here.
Yeah, I think if you hit it a little bit thicker than just straight jamming, or just rolling straight into the four foot yellow, triple should be there. About uh, maybe a third of a rock. That top eight might get redirected back into the back 12 red though. See what they can do here. Ah, uh, it's just gonna overcurl and nose it. Corey. Well, it's looking at two double options. I think. Little bit on the low side, double. The back 12 one out, looks easiest. I love these types of ends where there's no guards, just lots of rocks in the rings, and both teams are just trying to double and triple out the other team's rocks. I it's the side double. Yeah, that was it was a pretty convenient shot where if they just miss one he gets the other one might have even been there to get all three of them they will take that double all day long So we're going to hit some rolls over. It's going to leave another double. I think this is... Uh, skips the first shot. Just nose our hair low. And they make the double. Wow. This dropping team is looking very sharp. Making all, almost all of their shots. Making lots of tough shots as well. How do you score two now? Is this just a freeze to the rock just behind the tee line, maybe? Pretty good shot. Also, pretty easy to take out though. That this played nose. I'm 
most likely uh, Daryl Sobern is going to be forced to take one again. Cleaning it in, and nice shot. It's no easy hit, I'm guessing they'll just take a draw here. Yep. Sweepers are going. Cleaning. So the truck's coming in pretty nicely. Ooh, I think they gotta go though. Oh, okay, it's all good. Nice shot by Daryl and the team. Take one in fourth. See them talking about if they're going to play another end or not. If they do, we'll see you in five. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. After the f fourth end, looks like they have decided to shake hands and call it there. So, Dropkin wins all four games in their pool. They will be into playoffs. Daryl Sobering's now at two and two, or a two and one, a one and two. Sorry, <laughs> one and two. So if they win their next one, they might still have a chance of making playoffs. Um, I'll just update you on the other scores before we leave. We got. Brundage versus Weber, 2-2, two, two, after three. Uh, we got Wendling versus Samson. Samson's up 4-2 after three. 
and Fenson's up 3-2 over Dunham after three. And McMacken versus Ha. Ha is up 3-1. And Peterson is up 3-1 as well over Addison Bear. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you again for coverage at 3.30. Uh, feel free to check into the other streams, some watch some of the other games going on, and uh, have a good day. Thank you.